Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Whether you're looking for a website, blog, or an online store, make sure to check out Squarespace. Use the coupon code Manny. You get 10% off. All right, let's go. Ready? One, two, three. In this video, we're going to go over my top se seven photography accessories, the ones that I cannot live without. One of the most important accessories that I have in my entire photography kit, and it's actually not a real photography item, but trust me, it's gonna save you a lot of fights with your significant other when you're taking up all the outlets in the house, charging up the batteries for your flashes, your cameras, trust me on this one. Get yourself a charging station, okay? This one has about 12 different power outlets and it has six USB ports, so <laughs> get one. Links to all the gear are gonna be down below. Um, this one right here allows you to basically charge everything all in one spot So you can have just you could just plug everything up and let it sit there overnight And everything's gonna be nicely charged in the morning. You don't got to run around the house looking and 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 plugging everything up Trust me get yourself one of these charging stations I think every photographer videographer you need a charging station the second most important photography accessory that I have is a Lacey hard drive This is a two terabyte version. Uh, they run for about hundred and ten dollars. Um, this one is USB-C by the way and the reason why I have one of these, I have a top of the line computer. I have a, a Dell XPS with a terabyte hard drive um, and it's super fast, but the reason why I use these is because I'd rather have that memory in my computer completely empty, right? Um, I put all my photos and video on here and I edit off of this drive. So what that allows, basically that allows you to just keep your memory free in your computer so it can run fast and efficient. And uh, that's why I own these hard drives and I've never had any problems with them. They're pretty rugged. So if you don't have an external hard drive and you're editing off your computer's SSD, that's fine. But just know that you can save that space and keep your computer running better and faster by using these hard drives. Camera accessory number three is the Peak Design slide strap. And the reason why, and okay, none of these companies are, t are paying me to talk about their products. These are products that I've been had and that I purchased on my own. Um, I started this, I started my YouTube channel and I had this strap and I've been loving it since. And the reason why is they detach from the camera. And if you've seen me shoot in my previous videos, I don't, I don't shoot with the strap on my body. What I do is I walk around and I walk around with the strap and the camera. And when I'm, when I plop down to shoot, what I'll do is quickly detach my camera because it has a quick release setup. Bam. Now I have my camera, now I can shoot, I can get on the ground, I can do whatever I want without any strap, which is super convenient. And then when I'm ready to when I'm ready to uh, go to the next location, I quickly attach my camera strap to my camera and I'm good to go. See how that is? So I really, really like the Peak Design camera strap. I don't know if there's other ones out there that detach from the camera, but I think that getting a camera strap that detaches from your camera so you can just you're free to put it on a tripod you're free to do whatever you want with it sometimes camera straps get in the way it's nice to just be able to just throw the camera strap in the camera bag and shoot this is definitely something i think photographers can really benefit from is where is it all right number four is getting yourself a tablet to edit with now i've been editing with this mouse this is my favorite mouse in the world this is the mx master uh the mx master mouse I love this mouse and what happened, I got carpal tunnel because I'm editing so much for YouTube and editing videos and photos that I got carpal tunnel, I cannot use a mouse anymore. And before you get to that point, just, just prevent that from happening because it's, it's terrible. Get yourself a Wacom tablet and this is the small version. The reason why I got the small version is because I'm usually not at home editing. I'm usually out and about editing with my laptop. So I got the small version because it's nice and portable, fits right in the inside sleeve of my camera bag uh, with the laptop. So um, this thing has been a lifesaver and it's very pleasant to edit with a pen. Um, I still prefer it editing with a mouse because I'm faster, but I think that with time I'll get better. Um, if you edit at home, I probably recommend getting the medium sized one because it's kind of hard working with the small and when you're working on the edges, your, your wrist is kind of off the, off the tablet. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Carpal tunnel is no joke. It really takes a long time for it to get better and um, yeah. Get yourself a Wacom tablet. They're super easy to use and they're cheap. This one's only about $100. Definitely one of my most important accessories right here because without this, I probably couldn't even edit anything. That's the truth. Photo accessory number five is having a good backpack. 
This is my primary backpack right now, the Think Tank Urban Approach 15. Uh, this backpack, I've had this bag since about a year and a half. And the thing about having a good backpack is that, well, have, things about backpacks in general is that there isn't one that fits all. You have to decide if you want a messenger style bag. There's so many different kinds of bags. For me, I like backpacks because I just feel like messenger bags start to wear down on one shoulder. Um, I use two different backpacks. I use the Urban Approach 15. Uh, think tank and I also use a peak design uh, 30 liter bag I also have a 20 liter bag in peak design I like these bags because they fit a lot of gear okay if I'm traveling to another if I'm traveling to another uh, state and I want to bring as much gear as possible I'm gonna bring my think tank I mean I'm sorry I'm gonna bring my peak design if I want my my camera gear organized I'm going to use my think tank which is a normal style bag where you open the lid up and everything's there the thing with peak design is that Everything kind of, when you open up the side and they have the back flat, everything kind of just like vomits out. It's like vomiting camera gear. It can get kind of sloppy, okay? And I've had this bag for a while and things just get sloppy and it's really hard to locate your gear because they open from the sides. It's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. But the Think Tank, if I'm not carrying as much gear, everything kind of just stays really organized. And for me, it's a lot simpler and more comfortable on my shoulders. Photo accessory number six is having good SD cards. It doesn't make any sense to have an expensive camera and you putting cheap SD cards in them. So the cheapest ones that I have and I own the most of is these right here, the SanDisk uh, Extreme Pro 64 gigabyte with 95 megabytes per second, the way it writes. Um, I use the Sony a7R 3 as my main camera. I need good write speeds. 95 megabytes per second is pretty good. It does a pretty good job. And the, the best thing about it is that I'm able to also shoot high quality video with my camera using this card. If you have a cheaper card, you can shoot photos and the right speed's gonna suck, but then when you go to video, if you wanna do a little video, you're not gonna be able to shoot high quality video at like 120 frames per second or 4K. Um, if you wanna get even a better card, these are the higher on the ones that I use. I use the Sony 64 gigabyte at 299 megabytes per second. Uh, these are about $100, so if you uh, really wanna invest in some good SD cards, um, I would say this one. If not, I would get the SanDisk 64 gigabyte for $35 on Amazon and just buy a bunch of them. And these are really reliable. I can highly recommend these. Coming in at number seven is not even an actual photo accessory, but it makes all the difference, all the difference in the world when it comes to shooting on location or in the studio. Get yourself a JB, get yourself a JBL flip speaker. This is the flip three. I cannot tell you. If you like to shoot in silence, that's that's perfectly fine. I hate shooting in silence. It's just kind of awkward. I think that having a speaker with music, my boy Kedron actually put me on this. He used to play a lot of music. I used to shoot in silence. When Kedron brought this speaker to a shoot in Texas, I was like, oh my God, that makes a huge difference in the photo shoot and the vibes where the model's just vibing out to the music. I do that every single time. Now I don't go anywhere without my speaker. Play some music that the model likes and you will see her just shine. There won't be any awkward silence and you will notice that the tempo and the vibes of the shoe will be so much better. So give it a shot. This is the speaker that I use, has really good bass. It fits in the side of most camera bags, on the side pocket of most camera bags. So you can just have your backpack if you're on location, walking around with some music, I'm telling you, it makes, all, it makes a huge difference. And so with that said, links to all the gear will be down in the description box below. Um, I hope this video was helpful in some way and hopefully maybe, you know, kind of open your mind up to a new idea of maybe having music in your photo shoot or having a charging station. You know, these little things sometimes we pick up from other photographers and, and it makes a big difference in our workflow. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I post weekly photography tutorials every single week. I'm actually shooting tomorrow, doing a pretty cool photo shoot for next week. So stay tuned for that. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week. Peace. Man, look how serious he got. Wow, it's just a game.